Hello everyone, it's John Baldwin. Um, I'm going to be discussing something that is very um, hard for me to discuss. This this message is not for everyone. Not everyone can receive this message. Um, if you don't believe in the supernatural, I ask that you just leave right now because uh, it's going to fly over your head and you're not going to accept it. Uh, my words will fall on deaf ears. So I uh, ask that you exit right now if you don't believe in the supernatural. For those who are staying behind, um, uh, this uh, this will uh, be uh, me show, saying the reason why uh, I don't believe in once saved, always saved, and it's a, a guaranteed lie. Uh, it's from the devil. Um, there are things that, that many people don't know. First off, you know, I read the, the book of Enoch, and the, the book of Enoch goes against one saved, always saved. It talks about uh, blind sheep falling into uh, the basically the fires, the lake of fire. Uh, and you know that the Bible talks about the sheep, there are sheep and there are goats, and only the sheep are his followers. Well, uh, blind sheep are Jesus Christ's followers, and, and they've been deceived. But I want to tell you something more, uh, more personal. Uh, I want to explain uh, how I got the uh, gift of discernment of spirits. Uh, it came at a cost. Um, now this was uh, back in January of, of this year, 2010, uh, I got delivered from demon spirits. And uh, I'm not joking whenever I say demon spirits. Uh, I'm I'm saying that when you get delivered from demons, you actually uh, puke, you vomit. Uh, it, it feels as if something's coming out of your throat, and whenever it comes out, uh, you vomit. They come out of you. And I got delivered by uh, I don't know how many twelve demon spirits, roughly around, or or I don't know how many. Uh, after I got saved. I still had some uh, some spirits that were still from birth and that your parents give you that most people don't know that they have and uh, and some of them they, they came because the Bible talks about uh, them coming to an empty room uh, and then they bring more demons in okay and it was through like pornography uh, and anger anyways I got delivered so there were there weren't any more demons in me, and uh, because I got delivered, uh, the Lord gave me a gift of discernment. Later on, He gave me more discernment, and I was able to cast out uh, more demons out of me that I had gotten after the deliverance. So, Holy Spirit filled, speaking in tongues, born again believer, and I had demons in me. And uh, after I got delivered, I had three more demons in me, and I cast them out by myself. The first time, I had people to cast them out for me, praise God. But this time, I cast them out by simply warning them that I would cast them into dry and arid places if they, if they didn't leave in Jesus' name. And they don't like that. So I said, if you leave peacefully, uh, I, I won't... Uh, I, I, I won't catch you in Jesus' name into dry and airy places. And they laughed and I puked out three demons. Okay, and so we're going into supernatural. I want to say something. Whenever I was uh, being delivered in January, uh, these demons would 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 yell uh, some things. And luckily it's not a Catholic priest because th they would rip apart a Catholic priest. These were Holy Spirit filled people, so uh, the demons in me couldn't lash out at all. Uh, but um, one of the things that it yelled out was once saved always saved and be lukewarm those were two things that they were yelling out it was and it was it sounded very vicious it was once saved always saved and be lukewarm Okay, and so I wanted to just share that a bit with you uh, of my personal experience of why I cannot believe in one saved, always saved. It's not just that that the Lord shown me in the Bible, but demons 
wants you to believe it that you can't lose your salvation because if they know that you you believe that then then you have a not as a great fear of God that you can you can slip up from time to time and you won't seek holiness because you'll always believe that you're always going to be saved the truth is it's not true a sheep can be deceived and a sheep can lose the, the, the salvation and I want to say from personal experience that demons want to impress on you that once saved always saved this is truth uh, and Calvinist Calvinism doctrine uh, it is a, a doctrine of demons and uh, Satan is the one that invented it okay uh, and they have much deception in the religious world but Christ wants you to come out and be separate and don't believe the lies of the enemy uh, the one who created once saved always saved was Satan himself in the garden ye shall not surely die so uh, this was this was off of my heart I can't tell this to too many people because not many people can receive it most Christians believe that you can't be demon possessed the fact is the majority of even born again believers and Holy Spirit filled believers are still possessed by us an evil spirit that they don't know and it's latched on to them uh, but the Lord gave me the gift of discerning spirits and I'll be able to tell you if you do have a spirit in you or not or for by the fruit you shall know them but I just want to say that um, and uh, I had to come with you with humility because I can't it's a very touchy subject and so many people will not be able to receive this because it's way over their head uh, they live in a world of natural and not the supernatural so that's all I had to say you have a good day bye